Hey, how's it going out there today, everybody? Hope everybody's having a good day. Just want to talk to you a little bit today about Capstone Logistics out of Georgia. We know them, the Lumper Service. If you don't know who I'm talking about, uh, you are a lucky person. <laughs> so, my deal with Capstone, I want to talk to them today a little bit. Um, if you have been in trucking, more likely you've dealt with a Capstone. We'll go over some of the facts, go over my opinion, and just generally talk about a little capstone here uh let me know about your capstone experiences down in the comments if you could if you're not subscribed to this channel think about subscribing hit that thumbs up for me if you could uh if you make it to the end appreciate it uh, check out the description a lot of stuff down there i've got another channel check that out if you enjoy this channel so let's talk capstone logistics uh what is capstone logistics they are a lumper service Lumper services unload trucks and restack, uh, basically count, sort, and stack pallets for warehouses. Uh, you know, no matter your opinion on lumpers, I think it's a necessary service uh, because of the way the industry is structured right now. Could we do without lumpers? As long as the warehouses and the uh, receivers agree to employ people to do it because I do not want to do it myself. I do not want to unload these trucks, count, sort, and stack, all that. Just not my thing. Um, so if you don't know much about lumpers, I've got another video. Um, it's called, uh, you know, Why Does Everybody Hate Lumpers or something like that. Uh, it it's, it kind of breaks down what lumpers do and why we need them. I know a lot of people Oh, I hate reading in the comment section of Google Maps. Oh, the lumpers charged me X amount to unload their freight. Okay, it's not the lumpers freight. It's not the warehouse's freight until it's sacked, stacked, sorted, and separated in the manner in which it's supposed to be. Uh, you can argue that with me all you want. That, that's just how it is. And uh, let's see. So, yeah, that's a basic rundown of lumpers. If you haven't watched my other video, check it out. Very informative. Um, so, Capstone. How big are they? What do they do? Where are they at? Like I say, they're in most grocery warehouses. Um, you know, they've got major contracts with, like, U.S. Foods, Cisco Foods, uh, CNS. You know, there's a lot of big warehouses that use Capstone. Capstone is in 550 sites in the United States and growing. So that tells you right there, they've got a lot of, of clout. 550 grocery warehouses uh, and growing. They have 17,000 employees, or as they call them, team members. Um, and I'm getting all this from Capstone's website. Uh, some of the other stuff I got from other sources, but I'll let you know about that later. Uh, they have managed 13 million shipments. I say they've mismanaged a few of those, right? <laughs> uh, again, I'm ribbing, I'm ribbing Capstone, and I'll explain more in a little while why I'm ribbing them. Um, and they say they've handled 18 billion cases of product that they've uh, they've dealt with over the years. Um, Capstone was founded in 1986. Uh, under a totally different name, they've been bought, sold, and bought, and sold, and uh, acquired other companies and sold. Uh, so Capstone is made up of 20 different companies that have been purchased and or purchased Capstone themselves. Uh, it's a big conglomerate of companies. Um, like I say, founded in 1986. I don't think it actually became Capstone until like the early 2000s. Um, and according to Dunn and Bradstreet, uh, their gross revenue last year was $182 million. So they're getting paid well. Um, I had uh, a capstone the other day was $852 to unload a trailer, $852. Like I said, I don't care. I don't pay that. The shipper should be paying that. Uh, the only thing I don't really care for about lumpers is why do I have to cut you a check or why do I have to go on your website and enter a check number? Uh, but that's not really on the lumpers. You know, I think these brokerages and these uh, receivers should be working this out before I ever get there to get the lumper paid. Just a thought I'm having. Um, 
So my opinion of Capstone, I think the management sucks. Um, that's my opinion. Every Capstone I go to seems to be kind of mismanaged. Um, I was at one earlier today, prime example. Um, you know, I leave, I'm an hour away from the warehouse, or I've been gone for an hour and capstone calls me and i'm like oh no did they give me the wrong paperwork or something why are they calling me i've already got my receipt i'm gone uh and they said hey are you in door 10 and i said no i'm not in door 10 i'm i left like 30 minutes ago and they said oh yeah we don't know who's in door 10 and i was like that kind of seems like a you problem you know i mean i didn't say it i was just like oh okay well it's not me you know but in my head i'm thinking yeah, it's kind of a you problem. Like, uh, you need to figure that. Don't call me and ask who's in door 10. A random survey, you know, who's in door 10. Apparently no one knows over at Capstone. So a lot of stuff like that, just mismanagement. Uh, you know, uh, they're very inconsistent. One location to the next does everything different. Uh, that would be one thing uh, I would think for a big company like that, you'd want to streamline a few things would just be just be a thought you know I, I had um, because I don't like when I go to one and they want a physical check and then I go to the next one and they want me to pay with the relay app or you know you know get the text message and click the link now I prefer to do it that way that way I don't have to keep up with checks and you know used to it was a huge hassle to remember if you had a check or not because a lot of these places wouldn't even give you a check even though you know it's like that's how I'm gonna pay you is giving you a check but yet you won't give me a check and I'm sure you've got a million checks for you know you get a million checks for free it makes no sense whatsoever to me uh, the way they operate that business over there and uh, you know I think it's a culture issue they've got going on over there have you ever seen a happy capstone employee I mean they all look like they're just about ready to cry like <laughs> you know what I mean like unless they're on break you never see one that looks happy just you know and that's my experience maybe you have but that's that's my experience I think they've got a management issue over there because of all the inconsistencies a very high up management issue um, and I think they got a local like mid you know regional issue with the management as well because uh, every site is so unorganized and uh, to me there could be there could be they, they could, this could be ran more efficiently, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Um, but I don't know. You guys let me know what you think. And, um, you know, thanks for watching. If you made it this far, like I said, give me that thumbs up. Uh, check out the description for my second channel. And Mudflap. Don't forget about Mudflap. Take care of each other. Bye.